Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title. We are going to be speaking about Charlie XCX and her new album, OK? I'm going to be giving my thoughts, so if you're interested in that, pop, conspiracy theories, trending topics, female rap, my unpopular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, then go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, just to go ahead and preface how I do reviews here, I don't really do track by track views, I just talk about the tracks that I like, the tracks that I don't like, and just my thoughts on everything as a whole. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this album, okay? I love Charlie XCX. She is extremely underrated just to start. Like, she is great and she thrives in her own little lane and she pretty much runs it. So, period. Love that for her. So, I really love the song 360. That was her single that she put out. I already did a review on that, so I'm not going to talk about that too much. But with a single like 360, I was really excited for the album because I was like, oh, she's giving us 360. The album's about to be a banger, right? Right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the first song that I, you know, put notes on was Club Classics, okay? It is really glittery and cunt, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's definitely like a rave pop type of song like this song gives me very much like okay girl i'm about to pop me a little something something and just go out here and rave at this festival or at this club or wherever i'm at that's what this kind of gives and it's literally called club classics so it's kind of giving that all over chaotic um like rave energy if that makes sense i mean it's pretty fitting to open the album with this song in my opinion um also i didn't even mention the name of the album is called brat but obviously if you're clicking on this video you knew that okay um what i was surprised to learn though that there isn't a track on the album called brat unless i'm tripping yeah no no there there wasn't i just had to like freaking look again at my notes but yeah there is no track on the album actually called brat so that's very interesting um but anyway <laughs> the next song that i wanted to mention is sympathy of light and one of my favorite parts about this song is the beat I love, love, love the beat, and I also love her vocals here. They're just floaty and anthemic, and the way she's singing just feels very passionate. Also, some lyrics that caught me off guard when she, like, mentioned the, um, yeah, I could buy a gun, and I was like, huh? A gun? Okay, ma'am. <laughs> LOL, LOL. But yeah, <laughs> this song makes me want to, like, swing my hair and dance on a table. It just, it's just a really feel-good song. Um, I definitely saved this one to my playlist immediately. It just has like a good feel to it overall. Um, the next song that I highlighted here in my notes was I Might Say Something Stupid. Oh my gosh, I was so pleasantly surprised by the song because I kind of thought that this album was going to sound like 360 pretty much all the way through um, without any like switch ups or anything like that. And, you know, basically like 360 and a bunch of different varieties. But this song was so vulnerable and delicate. I loved it. Um, my only critique, well, no, not my only. I have a couple critiques, but my main critique was I wish that she would have did this song without the heavy autotune on her voice. I don't know. I just don't think this song needed that because of how vulnerable she was in the song and how like heartfelt it felt. Um, and also, I wish that it was longer. The song is not even two minutes. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I don't know if this is like one of those songs in between the album where it just bridges into the next. It's not supposed to be a real song, you know? But no, I don't, I don't like that. This song should have been one of the longest ones on the whole project for me. That kind of pissed me off because like, <laughs> I was listening to it, listening to it, and I didn't check how long it was. And then it was just over. And I was like, excuse me? So yeah, that kind of hurt me just a bit. Um, but yeah, it would have hit harder if there was no auto-tune and it was longer. So yeah, not a big fan of that. <laughs> but anyway, next song is Talk Talk. Again, very happy, very glittery, very peppy. I love that. I love when songs feel like lightning in a bottle and that's what this felt like. It felt like the word hooray if that makes sense like if this song could say hooray that's what it sounds that's what it feels like as far as like the beat and the feeling goes 
Um, but it seems like in the song she had like a secret lover or something, or she was talking about some mystery guy or some guy that she's into that, you know, is not really like her guy, but kind of her guy. That's what I was getting from it anyway, which was cute and, you know, mysterious and whatever. Um, the next song that I wanted to highlight was Von Dutch. Okay. And mostly for its just overall cuntiness. <laughs> It's giving work, it's giving strut, it's giving high fashion, it's giving classic, okay? It gave very much Vogue, mirror dancing, floor dancing, okay? It gave on that B, and yeah, I love the vibe of it because it gave very much like I am the one, the only one, you know, the number one. Um, So yeah, I could, I could F with the vibe of it, but actually, despite all of that, it wasn't my favorite song on the album actually one of my least favorite songs not because it's bad but just in comparison to some of the ones that I really liked that one wasn't my favorite but I understood the vibe I understood what you know she was going for um next I wanted to talk about rewind okay rewind was fun I really liked the harmonies I think that uh the harmonies and the sounds of like actual rewinding were the things that pulled me in the most in the beat um the song is perfect for like speakers inside your house or in the car so i like it for that element but lyrically and everything you know wasn't my favorite but there were elements about it that were pulling so i did appreciate that um also b2b just to kind of highlight a song that was just like experimental to me it's one of the more experimental beats and i like the vocals on this song and i think this song is one of the most dynamic to me out of the bunch um it has a lot of flow switches and the best beat switches um it's just a cool thing to listen to if that makes sense um it's just very interesting it's more dynamic um to me than the other ones so yeah i wanted to highlight that and then um some more songs that i didn't really care for that were kind of more of a pass for me um was mean girls i like the beat on mean girls a lot but i don't care for like the lyrics too much um the beat and the lyrics kind of have to go hand in hand for me to feel complete with the record and the beat was cool but I don't know there's something about the lyrics that I just didn't really resonate with or care to listen to that much <laughs> but not horrible but not my favorite um I also didn't really care for for Apple like that um that was one of my least favorite tracks for me it's kind of boring and it, it was a bit repetitive for me. So, eh, pass on that one. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, going back to a song I, I really liked. Um, I think about it all the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that. Like when I heard that, I was like, oh, that is so adorable. Like this song is so cute. And it's talking about like maybe her having a baby one day. And maybe I guess she met like a friend or family's baby. And she maybe just got the thinking about her life. and you know, she started talking about how she was thinking about having a, a bigger purpose for herself and, you know, meaning like extending, you know, her little legacy or whatever. And it was so adorable. I like, I was not expecting that just given kind of how the album was and, you know, just different little topics that she was talking about. I wasn't expecting for family to be one of them. So I thought that that was so sweet. And the way she's singing the lyrics you can tell that she had like a very bubbly energy about it and that she was genuinely excited of the thought of having a family, which is so sweet. She seemed so cheerful and cutesy and you can almost like feel that actual genuine want from her. So I really love that um, a lot. So moving on to the last track that I feel like I want to mention is 365, which is the last track on the album. I love this track. Like, she ended the album off with a banger. A banger. Like, this is just as good, if not better, than 360. And my favorite song on the album is definitely 360. Um, but 365 is really a close second. <laughs> like, she's eating on this. And she's kind of, like, rapping a little bit. Like, it felt like rapping because she was singing so fast and so, like, so confidently that it felt like rapping, like almost rapping, maybe not quite. But my goodness, I was like, well, damn. <laughs> okay. And um, this song also sounds like the title of the album. So like there is no brat track, but 
this would be the track that would feel like the title, if that makes sense. Um, also, it's a very Charlie XCX way of ending the album, might I add. Um, the beat is sick. You know what I'm saying? It's really good. So yeah, overall, this album is fire. You know, I didn't expect much less. Uh, 360 was one of my favorites. Um, obviously, 365 was one of my favorites. Um, I think about it all the time. Um, and some more of my favorites definitely are Club Classics, Sympathy of Life, and I might say something stupid. Um, actually, outside of 360 and 365, I think I might say something stupid is actually my top. Yeah, no, that's my top. That's my top. Like, and it's the shortest song on the whole freaking project. Like, that really pisses me off. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you guys let me know what you thought about the album all in all. And yeah, that's really it for this one. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.